Hi, today we will take a look on this static inverter. Input is 28 volts DC, 4.3 amps, and the output single phase 115 volts, 65 VA. So, first let's see what is inside, and after that, I will perform some tests on that device. Here we have a transistor to N6274. Code 83, and we should have two power diodes here. Okay, on that side, we have two other power transistors, they are used probably for the output stage to N5303. Ok, so we have two power diodes, effectively. We have a small electronic board, a small transformer here. This is the output transformer. Ok, so this is the electronic board. Ok, we should have an oscillator. We can see the driver stage here, using these two transistors and the power stage consists on these two transistors. Okay, so we have something else here. So this spotted module is probably a filter. So we can see a capacitor here. You can see that we have only two wires. So one is used for the input voltage, the DC voltage, and the second one for the output AC voltage. The common point is the ground of that thing, the metallic stuff here connected to the chassis of that unit. We can see that this diode is in series with the input voltage here. So the DC voltage corresponds to this red wire here. And uh, it is connected to the collector of this transistor. This uh, should be a common mode the filter shock, I think. And uh, this transistor in TO66 is a 2N4900. Ok, so I have connected this inverter uh, to this load. Currently the resistance is 330 ohms, this is the maximum resistance of this rheostat here. So we can see that we have quite a nice signal. We can see on the DMM the voltage and the frequency, 121 volts, and the frequency which is very close to 400 Hz. So we can see the DC current and the input here, 2.6 amps approximately. Ok, so let's increase the output power. The resistance is 210 ohms. There is a current of 0.6 amp approximately. So I think we are close to the maximum power of that thing. These two transistors are not very warm. Maximum current is 0.59 amp. Ok, so we are close to the maximum current, but we can increase a little bit the power. Ok. There is the protection. Ah, ok, it has recovered. Ok, 200 ohms. Ok, so the power is 73 watts. So we can see the DC input current is 4.1 amp. The input power is 115 watts. And that's all for this very nice inverter. If you want to start with avionics, I strongly recommend you this inverter. It is not expensive and it works perfectly. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.